Hello everyone, today in this video, in this evening, we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us as we always do in every video on this channel and today we will just say something about an adjective an adjective it's a very useful uh, thing because it help, helps us in determining the attitude or the value or the taste or the mm, our emotional involvement and many many other things uh, helps to determine us uh, these things towards some objects something can be pretty something can be ugly something can be good something can be bad and etc 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 but there are disciplines of life in which the uh, adjectives indicate something that is deteriorated. It works like this in politics. For instance, there are systems like socialism and democracy which always have to be associated with some adjectives. Nowadays we have liberal democracy which, as we see after recent explosion of wokeism, that this democracy evolved not to uh, not into the democracy, but evolved into the democrature, so democratic dictature. Again, adjective, democratic dictature, and uh, so democrature. And the same socialism. We also socialism created something like People's democracy, Eastern Bloc. Now, as I mentioned, we have liberal democracy. Some people want to say that there is also constitutional monarchy. It's actually only decorative monarchy, like in the nowadays we have, for instance, in Sweden. Actually, they are the descendants of the uh, Bernadotte who betrayed his lord, betrayed his emperor, Napoleon Bonaparte. And on his back, he had a tattoo that was in French, that was telling everything, that to the rulers, that to the monarchs. And when he was alive, he was never allowing his servants, when he was a king, to help him in undressing and help him in washing, even when he was sick. Now we know why, because when he was a young man also, he declared that as a pure republican, few years before the French Revolution, he will just do everything to spill as much as possible of the blood of the aristocrats and so on. But he became a monarch in the second part of his life. So we see how life can be malicious. But since his reign, a little bit earlier actually, because after the death of the last real fully ruling monarch of Sweden, who was killed in mysterious circumstances next to the fort uh, of Friedrichsjort in Norway, I mean Charles XII, so after 1718, uh, the monarch, monarchy power of the monarch in Sweden was gradually limited, and since the 19th century, Sweden is ruled by the <coughs> democratic democratic actually clowns and sharks of the business like the family of the steel industry in Sweden Wallenberg family so sharks of the business and now they introduced <coughs> such welfare state model and they keep decorative constitutional monarchy again adjective to just make the society quiet and stupid Slowly this system stops working, we remember that in 1976 Astrid Lindgren, who wrote her successful novel, which was selling well, she had to pay 102% of taxes. Now they a little bit uh, lower the taxes due to the entrance to European Union, but it, in 1995, but it doesn't work for long. They are still not sustainable, I mean their system is not sustainable, 
and we will see how it will end up. But the conclusion is that the real monarchy is only one. Some people who cannot live without the adjective because they are infested by <coughs> socialistic thinking added to real monarchy the adjective absolute, but it doesn't mean anything. And real uh, power is only one. Real ruler is only one. And I, as a real monarchist, also claim that real system, good one, the best one of existing, not the ideal one because there are no ideal things in this world, but the best political system people ever created, proven by history, is only monarchy, of course, without any adjectives. Other systems, like very often republic, for sure democracy and socialism, need the adjective that determine them, determine actually their deviation. So anything what has adjective close to it, uh, deviates quickly from its previous theoretical uh, features and assumptions and goes into more or less hidden dictatorship and totalitarianism. This is the info, ho take home message I wanted to convey to you today. Have a nice evening. Bye.